So we're really excited about our 18 month overall survival data as we've just released the overall survival data at 12 months. We anticipate that by the end of this year, certainly fall, winter time, we will have all of the data for our 18 month overall survival. And that's really exciting to us. So we're very excited to really move on to a more pivotal study. We will be speaking with our potential partners. With this study, we're collaborating with Regeneron and Simiflamab, the TD1 inhibitor that we are utilizing. We hope to continue those conversations with our collaborator. And we will move to designing a larger study and one that potentially will bring benefit to more patients. It's key that INO5401 is made up of three different DNA plasmids, which make up the 5401 DNA medicine, that these three plasmids are proteins that are often overexpressed in human tumors. It is true that specifically for glioblastoma, these particular proteins are important. For example, in human telomerase is often overexpressed, if not almost always overexpressed in glioblastoma. But the same can be said for the other two proteins, WT1 or Wilms tumor 1 protein, as well as for prostate-specific membrane antigen. And so together, we really do have a program that has the opportunity to be studied in many other human cancers. First, thank you very much for allowing me to share my excitement about Inovios therapies. I think that Inovios DNA medicines really have the opportunity to change the way we are treating not only patients with cancer, but patients with precancerous conditions, potentially infectious diseases as well. And we're really excited about the immunology, the safety, but most importantly, the efficacy data that we are seeing from our programs.